In previous video, we have created our first bucket and learn how we can manage objects in it. But there was one problem, we were not able to access objects of that bucket. So in this video, we will make that objects and bucket publicly available. If you have not watched our previous videos, you can click on that icon at the top right corner. You will uh, find the link of previous videos. So without wasting our time, let's get started. These policies are nothing but appropriate permissions and control access to your resources. Bucket policies and user policies are two access policy options available for granting permission to your Amazon S3 resources. Both uses JSON based access policy language. Uh, there are six types of policies in AWS like first one is identity based policies, second is resource based policies, uh, third is permission boundaries, fourth one is organizations SCPs. The fifth one is ACLs, sixth one is session policies. So a uh, bucket policy is a resource based policy that you can use to grant access permissions to your bucket and the objects in it. Only the bucket owner can associate a policy with a bucket. The permissions attached to the bucket applies to all of the objects in the bucket that are owned by the bucket owner. These permissions uh, do not apply to objects owned by another AWS account. So let's quickly see uh, the method and the way how you can create these policies and make your bucket publicly available. So this is the bucket we have previously created and we had one file which is screenshot one I will show you. You can see this bucket uh, objects are not publicly available it is giving us access denied error. So we'll solve this error and make this objects and bu uh, bucket publicly available. So first thing uh, you have to go to this permission section in your bucket. So just go to your Amazon S3 buckets, then select the bucket you want to make public, then go to permission tab and here you will see the two options block public access and the th second one is <coughs> bucket policies. So here you have to provide the policy code so your bucket can be accessed publicly. So we'll uh, not change this first I will show you. Uh, I want to show you one error uh, which is uh, which will come if you don't enable this or untick this. So let's uh, click on this edit button and I will show you this policy code in the description section. You can copy from it. So this is the code which help us to make this bucket publicly available. So first you have to provide version uh, like 2012, 10, 17 and uh, <clears throat> this is a statement uh, here like uh, different different things like effects, principles, actions, resources, conditions you can uh, put here. So as I uh, told you in the previous video that Amazon S3 is like a very huge topic to discuss. These policies are very huge and very lot of things you can do with uh, the policies like you can uh, block any particular IPs to access this policy, user policies you can create and apply to particular bucket or your account. So for uh, just for this uh, video, we will uh, make this bucket publicly available. So here you have to specify the name of your bucket. So currently our bucket name is demo tech with VP123. So I am replacing AWS test YT, which is previous my previous bucket. So let's replace this demo tech with VP123 and just click on the <coughs> save changes. And you will see uh, it is giving us one error like you don't have permission to edit bucket policies. So a uh, couple of uh, people I have seen that they are getting this error and looking for the solution. So this is just an easy thing. Uh, it says that after you or your AWS administrator have updated uh, your permission to allow the S3 put bucket policy. <clears throat> so this, this is called action. So when you uh, create uh, your user policies and all, uh, you will uh, see these uh, options available there. So to remove this error, you just need to uh, come to your bucket permissions option and just edit this uh, block public access. So you have to untick this. We allow uh, public to access this bucket. For that, you have to untick this block all public access. When you click it, your bucket is not publicly available. Uh, but once you click untick this, uh, you can uh, apply policies to your bucket. So I am uh, changing this, save changes and you have to type confirm here. <clears throat> confirm 
now it says objects can be public by acls and policies you can see block all public access is off so now we'll come to permission and go to bucket policies again and we'll paste this and replace the name of our bucket demo tech v vp one two three and now if uh, i will uh, click on this you can see that uh, successfully edited bucket policy and you will see this badge here publicly publicly accessible so let me uh, go to this bucket option and you will see that warning public here a uh, publicly access this bucket can be publicly accessed by anyone on the internet unless you uh, require a public configuration for a specific verified user case use case so uh, this is not the recommended way uh, by uh, aws but in some cases you require to make this uh, make uh, your bucket publicly available so this is done for making this bu bucket publicly available now i will show you this access denied previously and once i refresh the page you will see the image coming here it means now these objects are publicly available so we'll upload one more file and i will show you that that file also uh, publicly accessible now we are uploading second file <clears throat> and this is the file we have uploaded and we'll see the url you can see this is accessible so this is how you can uh, make your bu buckets publicly available so this is uh, it for this video guys uh, we'll uh, see you in the next video from the next video we will start uh, ec2 instance journey like uh, the heart of the <clears throat> journey uh, and this youtube series which i am making so uh, make sure uh, if you are new to this channel make sure you hit the subscribe button for this amazing contents and series uh, there are many more uh, upcoming series are coming so uh, if you like this content uh, you can uh, tap that like button and share with your friends if uh, you find this uh, video helpful so see you in the next video till bye bye take care